Hello everyone, it's Galina and I have a super juicy project to share with you today. I'm going to create a simple cheering card with the fresh lemons. That may be strange, but lemons are my favorite fruits and I can eat them even without sugar. And you can guess which is my favorite drink. I cut out a white panel using a scallop slime line die and I'm going to stamp a lemons on it. For stamping, I'm using a black memento ink with my stamping tool to get a nice crisp image. I stamped the lemons in the center of my panel and I'm going to color them with a Copic markers. On the biggest lemon, I'm going to make a some shading using bright yellow and orange markers. I started with the middle shade and I blend it with a light yellow color. For the deepest shades, I'm using the light orange color Y34. Next, I'm going to fill all the small parts on my image with a bright yellow color Y08 and my lightest yellow shade Y13. I try to color all the parts one by one. At one time, I color all the elements of the same color. That saved me a lot of time. To color the leaves, I found in my stash the brightest shades of the green color markers. And I'm making a simple blending from the lightest color YG01 and my darkest color YG09. After my coloring is done, I need to create a mask to protect colored image before my next step. I'm stamping the lemons on a piece of masking paper. When you're creating a mask, it doesn't matter how well you stamp the image. In general, only stamped contours are needed. Next, I'm going to fussy cut the stamped lemons with a thin border outside the image. And now I'm covering the stamped image on the panel with my mask and I can jump into the ink blending technique. I start with applying a light blue color around the lemons. I'm going to create a focal point in the center, so I'm adding a light color there. For the blending technique, I'm using my ink blender brushes from Studio Katia and they work perfectly with any kind of inks. Next, I'm applying a dark blue color around the stamped image. I'm going to cover the whole panel with this ink and it's a beautiful deep color called Fitted Jeans. By the way, the light blue color and this dark one are Dissers inks and full list of supplies I used you can find in the video description below. To add more interest on the card background, I'm going to apply another ink, but this time I'm going to apply it through the beautiful geometric stencil. And I'm using another type of ink, Dissers Oxide ink. If you don't have Oxide ink, simply use a darker color of any ink you may have. I'm applying ink through the stencil on two corners of the card panel and I'm overlapping the stencil a bit on the stamped image. After that, I can remove the mask. If you will use a low stick paper, it will not damage the colored image. And I have some big white spots between the lemons and I decided to fill them with a dark blue marker. So I simply color tiny dots on the stamped image. To create a sentiment, I'm going to use an alphabet dice and a stem from citrus trimmings. I cut out the word zest two times from the white and glitter cardstock, and I'm gluing those letters together to create a shadow behind the letters. Next, I foam mount the letters on the bottom of the card panel. And let's move to the second part of the sentiment. I'm going to hit emboss a part of the sentiment stamp, that's why I'm masking the bottom of the stamp with the masking tape. I'm inking it up with a clear embossing ink and I remove the masking tape. I stamp the sentiment on the right top corner of my card panel. I'm covering it up with detailed white embossing powder and I will hit emboss it with my heat gun. Also, I cut out uh, one more slime line panel from a bright yellow cardstock and I'm adhering the small panel on it using a large foam tape from Studio Katia. To embellish my card, I picked yellow and green crystals, I combined different size of crystals on my card and I'm attaching them using strong liquid glue. Then I'll attach the panel on the white card base. 
And here is my finished card full of juicy lemons and bright colors. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye!